Billy Foster is one of golf's leading caddies. He's now known as Lee Westwood's bagman, but for five years he caddied for the late, great Severiano Ballesteros. Their relationship was an intense one, and Billy treasures his memories of the late Spaniard. For many, Seve was the greatest match play golfer of all time. And Billy remembers one story in particular that illustrates the Spaniard's hunger and desire in one-on-one -on -one competition. It's gone down in history as the fruitcake incident. It happened at Wentworth in the final of the 1991 World Match Play. To describe his competitive, competitive edge, should I say. Uh, <laughs> it was a world match player final, and he was playing Nick Price, who is arguably the nicest man I've ever met in world golf. You know, and Seve respected Nick. So they're playing the 13th hole in the world match player final. It's the morning round. I think Nick Price might have been, he might have been two up. It was a great game. Nick Price is now over his second shot. And Seve's turned to me and says, uh, Billy, uh, we have something to eat. I said, yeah, I've got a banana and there's some fruitcake. Okay, give me the banana. Well, I give him this banana. But Seve liked his bananas black and sweating and horrible like everybody else would just throw them in the bin. But I made the big mistake. I gave him a yellow one. I give him a yellow banana. How can you do that? But it had a tinge of, tinge of green on it and it, you know, it just didn't quite pick and it snaps off. Oh. Well, that was the end of the world. I can give you, can, you cannot do a job, eh? Give me the fruitcake. And I, I threw the banana in the trees. I said, I'm a caddy, not a greengrocer. So I give him the fruitcake. So he throws this bit of fruitcake in. Just as Nick Price gets the top of his back swing, his fruitcake goes down the wrong hole. <laughs> and Nick Price is just on his downswing. It's a foot behind it, duffs it in the front bunker left. And so he's like, Nick, I'm so sorry, eh? Nick, I'm so sorry, please. And he says to the referee, can you take the shot again? It's, it's the same as if, if, somebody, no if somebody in the crowd do the same thing, if the camera went off, it's one of these unfortunate things. I know it's very unfortunate no for Nick, but um, there's nothing we can do. He can't be put the stroke. Yeah. And Nick, being Nick, oh, Seve, no problem, it didn't put me off. But I asked him at the President's Cup a couple of years ago, sure it put him off, but he was such a nice fella. No, no, he didn't put me off, we'll carry on like, yeah. This shows you shouldn't be eating when your opponent or partner are playing, and you should always eat with the mouth closed. Breathe through your nose, and keep it out of your windpipe. Nick Price is now in the bunker, short left. Chops it out to about 10 feet. Well, good shot. Played it nicely. So I'm stood at the back of the green with Seve and I've... Seve. Give him the putt. Huh? I said, Seve, give him the putt. You know it makes sense. I mean, you've put him off. You've made it for you've got half. Let's avoid the controversy, go to the next. No, 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 no. In the fairway, I offered him a half. And no, no, no. He must finish the hole. I offer once. No, 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 he must finish the hole. I'm like... You stubborn son of a... And he made him put it there. Now, here he goes. This for a half. Thank God he all the putt. But, no, no. <laughs> the hardest man on a golf course you could ever come across. Seve went on to recover from that two-hole deficit to beat Price three and two. He equals Gary Clare's record of five victories in this uh, splendid World Match Play Championship. What a good season he's had.